That's not good. <laughs> I'm recording. Oh, okay. you got me burping. <laughs> burping? I think I got you farting in the other one. You're kidding. <laughs> That's gross. The life of a That's vlogging couple. <laughs> that? On a This is our hotel room. It is the Double Tree by Hilton. Um, sorry about the mess already. We are packing for our Ultra Beast. Um, so my husband, this, I'm just giving you a quick little tour. So our hallway, they should put a picture there. That would look really nice. Anyways, bathroom. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so now that we got um, a little tour of our room, um, I will show you later what we are going to put in our bin box for the race. But right now, I'm going to make some sandwiches.
else. I wanted to tell you this. So, our view from our resort. Um, anyways, right across the street um, is the Spartan race. So, Tyler did good. He did real good. Um, so, I'm just going to show you kind of what's in my pack. Um, what I'm wearing to start. That sort of thing. So, um, let's start with what I'm wearing. So I will be wearing my Peregrine Peregrine? Yeah, Peregrine 7, 8, 7 by Saucony. Um, they did really well with the last race. Um, the inserts that they came with kind of got scrunched up, so I'm hoping that doesn't happen tomorrow. I'm going to cinch them down really tight. Um, we'll see. In my bin, I'm doubling up everything. Everything that I have and I'm wearing, I'm doubling up. So, wearing these, um, and then my shoes I have a different... Um, brand of shoe and different brand of sock but um and then I have my Lululemon sports bra um that I'm wearing just an Under Armour tank top black my Nike pants um they worked great last time they have a drawstring so that's great I have I went to the little boys section and I got this um I don't even know what kind of material it is. Oh, it's moisture wicking? Yeah, it's like a polyester. A polyester, like moisture wicking type shirt. Um, so I wanted it snug to my body. I wear this vest. I got it last year when I raced Tahoe. Tahoe. Um, and it has been the best thing ever. I love this vest. Love, love, love it. Tomorrow I'm taking a set of contacts um, because I'm blind and if for some reason I get mud in my eyes, I have a pair of contacts to change to. Um, up here I have my goo um, and Tyler and I decided we were not going to do the goo packet. The hammer gel in the squeeze bottles. Um, each one of these is five. We also have one of these in our bulk bin or our bin box, whatever you want to call it. Another source of energy shoes, cliff blocks. And then this I've never used, um, but everybody recommends it. In Tahoe, I ended up getting a little bit of a bloody nose and um, headache and my hands swelled up from the altitude. So I actually got this um, boost oxygen. Um, that's just in case like I have a little bit of a headache or I'm feeling a little dizzy, that sort of thing. Um, we just got one because I don't really think we're going to need much more than that. Um, I think each of these gives 50 boosts, whatever that means. Uh, and then I have this water hydration pack. I'm going to fill it up tonight and I'm going to put some, um, noon tablets in it. Um, I also have a hydration pack in my bin already filled, already with noon tablets. Um, I got this size because it fits really nicely in this little pack. Um, like I said, this pack's a lifesaver. has a spot for it right back here. It's great. And then it has this like little thing that you can put, like if I get hot and I take my long sleeve shirt off, I can just like bungee it to my bag, headlamp, tampon, anti-diarrhea pill. <laughs> so that was a fun pocket, right? <laughs> um, headlamp, always make sure it's in a plastic sack. Um, I would definitely recommend changing out your batteries so you know you have enough. A black trash bag, and you asked me why I have that. That is because if I ever feel like I'm getting too cold or signs of hypothermia or anything like that, I'm gonna throw that on my body, poke a hole for my head, throw it on my body and cinch it tight because, and it will help raise your body temperature. So that is what I'm all about. But that is basically what I'm wearing and packing with me on my Ultra Beast. Um, Tyler's pack may have a little bit more nutrition than mine um, because he is 6'2". Okay, so we did it. 26.5 miles. We finished the Ultra Beast. 
Woo! Dead tired. <coughs> I have like some asthma stuff going on. Um, this guy paced me. He did awesome. He has stuck with me the whole time. He could have totally kicked my butt. Um, but he was a sweetheart. He did awesome, babe. And he he kept me going. <clears throat> and it's awesome. And we've done a ton. And we're dead tired. And we look like this. The elevation was nuts. Um, we got these awesome belt buckles that I'll show you later. What else? Anything you want to say? I recommend doing it. Yeah. Get out there and do it. Get out there and do it. <clears throat> it totally pushes you mentally and physically. <laughs> It was my first, both of our first, Ultra, and I guess I got seventh place for females, so yeah. that's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> so, in the elite, so, in the elite seventh place yeah, elite. seventh place in women's elite, so I'm excited about that, that's pretty cool. Um, but it was it was mentally breaking us down and physically and we're tired and we're ready to find something to eat, shower, and go to bed. And a sixteen hour drive home tomorrow. That's right. Then we drive <clears throat> all the way home tomorrow. So I'll show you guys our medals in a little bit. <clears throat> 